What's going on guys, it's Brandon again. Today I'm bringing you my third Ace Day video, which is long overdue, but today we're taking a look at the top scoring female ace of World War II, who flew with the USSR. Now before I start the history of Lydia Litvak, I would like to say, bear with me on the history about her. Some of the history that I found was kind of shaky and seemed scattered at times, but I'll do my best to keep everything straight and hopefully it goes out well, but if you find any history in here that is not straight or it's not right, then feel free to correct me down in the comments and it will be much appreciated. Now let's go ahead and jump right into the history of Lydia. Now, Lydia was born on August 18th, 1921 in Moscow, Russia. She was very interested in flying while growing up and by the age of 14 enrolled in a flying club now. A flying club is basically kind of like a flight school. By the age of 15, she had completed her solo flight and later graduated from Kherson Military Flight School. Before graduating, she actually beat her instructor in a dogfight, which basically inspired her to work as an instructor as well. Now, for a military service, she began with the female 586 IAP, or known as the Air Defense Force. This is where she trained on the Yak-1. In August 1942, she was then transferred to the male squadron, the 437th IAP. This is where she started to fly her first combat missions. Now, Lydia scored her first two victories on September 13th, becoming the first woman fighter pilot to shoot down enemy aircraft. The first planes she shot down were a Ju-88 and a Bf-109G2. Now the 109 was actually piloted by a decorated fighter ace commanded by General Richthofen. The pilot of the 109 managed to eject, a short while later he was captured by Soviet troops. He wanted to see the fighter ace who shot him down, and when he was shown Lydia, he could not believe what he saw. You know, it's not an everyday thing to see a woman fighter pilot from World War II in that era to, you know, shoot down a German pilot. Now, she was then transferred to the 9th Guard Spider Regiment in the solid and red vicinity, but transferred yet again due to the new planes that they had arrived for the 9th Guard Spider Group. They received the Bell P-39 Era Cobras, and if you remember in another video that I talked about, the Era Cobras were actually being sent over to Russia, but they didn't like the Era Cobras, so they were transferred, and so they could continue using their Yak-1s. Now, Lydia ended up becoming notorious for getting shot to shit, it seemed and had to make quite a few emergency landings that I read about and but one thing that made her stand out above all the other pilots is every time she was wounded she would fuse medical leave and instead would continue to fly there's one account of her getting shot while in combat and she ended up shooting down a 109 and getting all the way back to the airfield and landing but she was bleeding out she was severely hurt and when she got medical treatment a week later, she went right back into combat. She refused medical leave. It's pretty impressive. That's that's pretty much what makes her stand out above all the other pilots. Now, one air victory that I found stood out from all the others, and I thought it was pretty cool, was when she took down an observation balloon for artillery strikes. Basically, in World War II, is they would have observation balloons that, say, people would ride in, and they would mark locations for artillery to hit. And these things were really pretty well guarded by flak and other means of defense from the ground. Now, all the other pilots who tried to take this thing down were turned away due to the intense anti-aircraft fire, the flak, and she was, she was told that she can't go up due to the risk. But she explained her plan to her, her superiors, and they granted her permission to attempt to uh, get a score on it. Now, her plan was to flank it and attack from behind, which ultimately ended up working, and when she went at it with her tracer rounds, the hydrogen in it ended up erupting, and the thing ultimately exploded, just burning to a crisp and going to the ground. Now we're at the part of the video that I hate talking about the most. On August 1st, 1943, she did not return from an IL-2 Sturmovik escort mission. She was caught by surprise by two BF-109s that were covering for Ju-88 bomber runs. One of her comrades claimed that they saw two BF-109s go on, like, dive onto her, and she turned to meet them, and they disappeared into, into the clouds, and her comrade kept looking for her, and she appeared once more, and her yak was just pouring out smoke while being pursued by as many as eight BF-109s. So, <laughs> this is like those moments in War Thunder where you're in a shitty arcade battle, and you've got the whole teams piling on you. You guys know what I mean. That's happened to you before. But she was never seen again until 1979 when her body was actually recovered after she had been buried in a village near where they found her crash yak. 
Her final log showed she scored a total of 12 victories, and that was most of any woman in World War II for being a fighter pilot. And that's pretty impressive if you think about it for that time that women were actually fighter pilots buzzing around up there, and actually one of them became an ace. So that's pretty impressive. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on Lydia Litvak. I probably butchered that last name, but that's as close as I'm going to get to it, I think, at this point. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I believe the Brits are next on my Ace Day video series that I'm doing. So this had a, quite a bit of fun doing this. There's also that Stalingrad uh, event that came up, and I got a ton of yak. 1B kills and that, so that was pretty fun. Maybe I'll do a little video on Stalingrad, but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope my history is pretty straight on her, but anyway, guys, my name's Brandon. Hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day.